Today we are going to come out of the shadows in front of the Northwest Detention Center. About 10 undocumented youth are going to share their stories and come out and say that publicly they're undocumented, unafraid and unapologetic. That's why we're here today, and basically uh, show that we're not afraid anymore and we don't want it, this detention center to continue to break apart our families and make profit out of them too. Secure communities keep supporting innocent people and as well detain them in this detention center that are here because of a broken tail light or minor traffic violations. Yeah, you know, these corporations are making profit out of them. To preface it, under Obama, over a million uh, immigrants have been deported. In the last year, it's uh, 393,000 immigrants were deported. The majority of them didn't have a criminal record or uh, they were just, you know, petty crimes. That's according to ICE's own data. The National Detention Center here houses about 1,500 immigrants at any given point. The private for-profit uh, uh, prisons, or detention centers I should say, make on average $200 on an immigrant to house them overnight. How it works is once you are stopped by the police and if you're taken to jail, they can um, take your fingerprints and they will um, screen them to see if you are you have a legal status or not and just because we might have uh, brown skin or because we're, we look Hispanic then they try to stop us and figure out if whether we're undocumented or not. Many people have also been put under the deportation, deportation proceedings because they're actually just reporting a crime. So if you are to stop by the police and report a crime sometimes they might still take um, your fingerprints if corporations can cross borders, why can't we cross the border? They are sending corporations to our uh, native lands and then they exploit our people, they exploit our resources and once we don't have anything left, we, we need to survive. So we come here and then and they want to lock us up. The biggest um, corporations are the Corrections Corporation of America. Um, the Management and Training Corporation and the GEO Group and collectively they have over 200 uh, facilities uh, throughout the United States. Combined they made over five billion dollars in profits nationally. But they're, they're making a lot of money. Holding an immigrant for a year it costs 70, 72 thousand dollars. Yeah. The three main groups that I've mentioned, they uh, have spent over 20 million dollars in lobbying legislators to um, promote and write legislation that is very anti-immigrant. Basically the reason why they're doing that is because it keeps funneling a steady source of uh, what I would call, or they would probably call raw goods, which we call people. So, you know, it's it's they're turning the criminal justice system into a, an industry. It's not a system anymore when you start talking about factors like justice, corrections, and most importantly, human beings. They, they become commodities. And so it's, it's, it's just wrong, it's, it's unethical, you know, to have a business that's predicated on uh, making profits and turning people in, into statistics. You know how Obama and all the administration say that they're just catching all criminals and people that basically have really bad criminal background. Well, not true. When I was in there, this ugly ass place right here, they separate you by colors, which it's blue, orange, and red. Meaning that blue is you don't have no criminal. Uh, orange mean you have some bad and then red is mean you just you're dangerous but I saw more people in there with blue I only saw probably like two three people with red and orange in there so basically that meant that a lot of those people in there were innocent why deport all these people when you, you could really be making all this money with these people like if the dream act were to pass a lot, lots of dollars will come in, in, in revenue. The reason why I'm here is because I've been doing this work for a long time and I'm tired of seeing my, my friends and, and the other family members struggle with not having any, any documents. We got our eye on them. We're, we're, we're out here doing it and we're not, we're not gonna stop. There's nothing that them or anybody could do. All of us, uh, dreamers, allies, we will never die. This movement will never die, no matter what they do. There will always be someone, somebody to, to stand up. I think they got the message. They, they got our message. We're, we're here, we're out here fighting and we're not gonna stop.